This is the pelvic tilt test. This is an important test to assess whether or not a player is able to control their core throughout their swing while hitting. So what I'm gonna have Andrew do here is turn towards me, get his feet about hip width apart, and then I want him to get a nice athletic posture and arms crossed across his chest. So what I tell Andrew here is to imagine there's a bucket of water on his belt buckle and he's gonna tip it forward first and then I want him to go backwards. I'm gonna have him do that at least one more time here. So it looks like here, this would almost be considered a failed test because of the shaking on the way back. Other ways you could fail this test is if Andrew were to shift his hips backwards shift his hips forwards, or if he had difficulty holding his upper body stable. So if that is the case, what I would do is get him back in that position, hold onto his shoulders, and have him go through the test again. One more time for me. So imagine he doesn't have the shaking with this particular test. It would be a pass test. However, holding onto his shoulders would indicate that he has a mobility problem or a stability problem rather than a mobility problem. So if he did have no issue performing the test, he's able to move forward and back, that's good, he passes. If he cannot do it, or he's shifting his hips back and forth, or moving his upper body forward and back, and I hold his shoulders, then that would tell me he had a stability problem with the core. So why this is important is because as a hitter, you need proper core control to be able to transfer your energy from the ground up to make contact with the ball and be able to hit the ball with as much power and velocity as you would like. So if you are noticing any deficiencies in your game, any problems with your game, give us a call at Advanced Physical Therapy of Little Rock, North Little Rock and Benton.